Good afternoon. Welcome to Joburg TV News. I'm Gail Fasahi with your afternoon news updates. And in your headlines, Jason Rode has been found guilty of the murder of his wife. The Africa Investment Forum must emerge with concrete results. And Patricia DeLille has laid a criminal complaint against DA members. Jason Rode has been found guilty of the murder of his wife Susan by the Western Cape High Court on Thursday. Rode was also found guilty of obstructing the ends of justice. Bail has been withdrawn and Rode will be taken into police custody. The court found that the accused staged the suicide and had the direct intention to kill his wife. The state has proven its case beyond reasonable doubt. Judge Khayat Saleh Thorpe carefully laid out how Jason had devised a plan to stage the suicide after a physical altercation which resulted in murder. Based on expert evidence, she found it highly improbable that Susan would have gone to the bathroom to hang herself. Gauteng Premier David Makura said that the Africa Investment Forum must emerge with concrete results, real transactions and real deals that are signed and sealed because Africa is tired of forums that are just talk shops and nothing comes out of that. He was speaking at the inaugural Africa Investment Forum which took place at the Senton Convention Centre this morning. The three-day gathering, which opened on Wednesday, is being attended by several heads of states and CEOs. Former Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille has laid criminal complaints against several DA members for alleged fraud. DeLille has been threatening to take legal steps for months now. Since they shared a social media post of an alleged fake Auditor General report, which claimed that DeLille breached the Municipal Finance Management Act over the management of revenue from the My City Bus Services. Dalil has set her sights on four party officials, Mike Waters, Hank Hugo, Shihana Kaji and Bronwyn Engelbrecht. These members allegedly shared a screenshot of an Auditor General document revealing Dalil's involvement in alleged mismanagement at the Cape City of Cape Town. The document also suggests she failed to report misconduct. She wants them investigated for fraud, defamation of character and criminal injuria. And that's it from the Joburg TV News team and myself. Goodbye.